Hey y'all, it's your girl, Cindy Cesare. Let's talk about wholesaling and what it is. Now, in this case, we are talking about wholesaling real estate and mobile homes on owned land. But here's the truth about wholesaling. You can literally wholesale anything. I mean, really. The very nature of wholesaling is to buy low and sell low. And I'm talking low enough so that your end buyer have a good spread to make a decent profit but high enough so that you can make a good profit yourself. That's really all it is in a nutshell. You see, I'm not about using these fancy lingos that confuses people for the sake of sounding like some experts whose strategies seem so far out of reach that you feel like you can't do the same thing, especially if you're new and you're just starting out. We ain't gonna do that here, all right? We're gonna get to the bottom of what things are for what they are and how you can use the same strategies as simple as you can, as fast as you can to reach your financial goals. So let's go. All right, so let's talk about wholesaling and how it applies to real estate investing. Now, when it comes to wholesaling real estate, we cannot talk about it without talking about assignments. There are two ways to wholesale real estate. One way is by double closing, where you are simultaneously closing the deal with your seller and your buyer at the same time. And sometimes, in those cases, you can actually use your buyer's cash to fund the entire deal if the title company allows it. Now, the most popular way is by using an assignment where you assign all of your rights and responsibilities of the contract that you have with your seller to another buyer. Just like the banks and mortgage companies do, if you ever got a loan to buy a house and a few weeks later, you probably got a letter saying they sold your loan to another company, aka another investor, well, it's the same thing. That is what wholesaling is in a nutshell. This is also why you don't necessarily need to have any money to wholesale. Of course, somebody gonna need to have some money, but it doesn't have to be your money. If you ever heard of the term OPM, meaning other people's money, well, That's how you can do real estate deals without having any cash of your own. It does take some money now. It just doesn't have to be your money. You can literally structure and close an entire deal with your buyer's money legally or whoever else money you can get. See, you can wholesale anything and I mean any type of properties in any kind of situations. You can wholesale condos, multifamily properties, commercial properties. You can wholesale pre foreclosures, bank owned properties. You can even wholesale a property where the owner still has a mortgage balance left on it. And I'm talking about the ones where the owner is still on good terms with the lender and not even facing foreclosure. What else can you wholesale? You can even wholesale properties that the owner do not owe any money on it at all. And these are my favorite types because if the title is clean, this makes for slam dunk deals. Meaning you can close these type of deals in a matter of days. I'm talking about like five days. And your seller and you will be extremely happy. However, you can also wholesale properties with tons of liens and judgments against it. Sure, those will require some extra legwork, but they are also doable. And believe it or not, there are even buyers that will buy those deals from you, even with the liens in tech. How do I know? I know because I've done many of them. When it comes to wholesaling properties, we are normally talking about distressed properties, meaning they are rundown type of properties or needing some extensive type of work. However, Besides distressed properties, there are also distressed owners, meaning these are the sellers that are in a bind. And for whatever reason, they need to unload the property and they need to unload it now. This is where your people skills will come in so you can uncover their motivation. This is the time where you got to figure out what their motivation for selling is, which we'll discuss further in other videos. But for you, what this means is you can wholesale a pretty property too. And I'm talking about a home that's been renovated or even newly built. And be that as it may, the seller just needs to get off of it, which is where your opportunity comes in. So I say all of this to say that when it comes to wholesaling, do not box yourself into one type of scenario. You have to be a problem solver and you have to have a problem solver type of mentality and you are here to evaluate the situation, evaluate the deal and see if there's a way that you can create a win-win situation for both you and your seller in a way that can also make you money. And if you're still struggling with this concept, just think about when you walk into any retail store. Do you think that they are the ones making every product in there? No, they're not. Most often than not, they are getting their products from a manufacturer who sells it to them 
at a discounted price and they then mark it up and sell it to you for a profit. They are the middle person between the manufacturer and you. And sometimes there's even more people in between. So keep all of this in mind as you maneuver in this business. You, my friend, are a problem solver and you get paid to provide a solution which is helping a seller get rid of an unwanted property by finding the right buyer to take it over via an assignment contract. And we'll discuss this later. Now, in the next video, I'll share with you how I went from wholesaling homes to condos and why mobile homes have made me the most money ever in my wholesaling career. Stay tuned till next time. If you like my content, please remember to share, like, subscribe, and comment below your favorite types of property to wholesale if you've been wholesaling for a while. Let us just know. Later.